Hi there everyone, it's me Lamer Gamer. hope you're all doing well. Now today's video is a how-to video, and it's a how-to video that is going to save you money and hopefully give you some extra things to do on your stream. And this one is all about webcams, more specifically connecting your iOS or Android device to your PC or streaming software and using that as either a second or even a primary camera because, you know, webcams and phone cameras nowadays are so powerful that, you know, they're starting to rival things like the DSLRs now. Especially if you're just starting out and you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on like a brand new, like shiny camera. Now this software is completely free. It comes from a company called Elgato. You might recognize that name from things like the Stream Deck or the Keylight. They make some fantastic sort of gamer, streamer related products. So you know that some thought has gone into the creation and development of this. Um, the product we're going to be using is the free version of a piece of software called Epoch Cam. But Lamer Gamer, I can do this anyway. I can just use a USB connection to my PC and it'll work. That's great for you. However, if you don't want to be running cables everywhere, you can use this piece of software that will allow you to connect to your PC over Wi-Fi. But yes, I'm going to show you how to connect it in OBS because that's the software I use. But I believe it's the same with things like Slobs and other streaming software as well. So if you did like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell so you know every time I post a new video. I also stream regularly on YouTube and Twitch, so find me over there if you have any questions about the software. So we're going to swap over to my phone now and we're going to go through the installation process of the Epoch Cam software. Now before we do start, I will say that there is a professional version of this that you can get for about $8 I believe it is. Um, that will allow you to record in HD and um, it will remove the Elgato watermark if you're worried about that. So I think for the price, it's a one-off fee and it allows you to record whatever you want, however you want it really. But for now, we're going to be running through the free version because like I said, this is how you do it for free. So the first thing you're going to need is your phone, ideally charged up so that you can install the software and start playing around with it as a webcam as well. And we're going to go to the App Store and we're going to download Epoch Cam. Now we've installed the software, we're going to open up Epoch Cam. So I can either get the driver by directly plugging into my PC or I can get it by email or visit the website that's on the bottom of this. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to send myself an email. So I'm going to press email me the download link. It actually gives you the email address with the link on it already. And all you have to do is email it to yourself. OK, so I have now sent the driver download link to myself so as you can see here it says here's the download link you requested and there's the link so all I'm gonna do is highlight that copy that it says you are moments away from turning your phone into an incredible webcam just remember to install this driver package or to remain a regular phone and I believe this is what we are looking for the epoch cam driver I'm gonna download that Thanks for downloading. Be the first. Uh, I'm okay for now. Thank you, Elgato. So close. And as you can see down here in the corner, it says epochcaminstaller.exe. So I'm going to click that. The setup. So we go next. I agree. Install. Okay. Press finish to close setup. So as you can see here, here I am in OBS. I'm going to press add um, video capture device. I'm going to put create new. I'm going to call it Epoch, E P O C. Then press OK. So if I put Epoch virtual camera, there we go. That is it pretty much. Apply rotation data if any. So if I turn it landscape, it does that. Got a giant Elgato watermark on it, mind. So I'm going to press OK. So right now, we have a webcam that can you know, show you my hand. So if I was playing a game where it was important that you uh, saw me pressing keys and stuff, or if I'm doing a top-down review video, I can use this. So that is really useful. However, I'm not overly keen on the older uh, Elgato watermark. So there we go. You can see that, and it's got the Elgato watermark. So I don't know if there's something I can do about that. So if I was going to buy this and I was worried about the watermark, which I am, um, for $7.99, I could get rid of that. I could record in HD. I can do wide angle support. Um, the microphone will work on it. You can record in HDR and it will allow me to do manual focus. So if I wanted to, I could actually crop this out. So if I put the phone down now, although bearing in mind, it will compromise some of your picture. So you need to remember that you're only using half of what 
you know your phone can see but as long as you bear that in mind and you can sort of see this preview somewhere then you shouldn't be too far like gone or you shouldn't you shouldn't really miss too much because now we don't have the elgato logo and we're only missing like i don't know an inch or so off of the web off the actual image so it's not too bad to be fair so after that cheeky little trick that we've just tried with the Elgato Epoch cam, it proves that we can do some pretty funky stuff for free with this free software. So if you have any issues with it, please drop me a line. There are loads of like tutorials and guides on the actual Elgato website. Um, but yeah, I think it might even be worth paying the extra $8 to, to get this with no watermark on it just and, and to get the higher um, recording rate, especially if you're doing like review videos, you know, it just pays to have that like higher quality camera also there's some really funky filters you can try as well for the free software which i find quite unique you can add some form of strange green screen effect and the blur the background out if you want so it looks like they are trying to get into that sort of thing like you know background removal and stuff like that but yeah i hope you have found this short video useful and um yeah if you did like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell so you know every time i go live or post a new video I also stream regularly on Twitch and YouTube, so catch me over there if you have any questions. But yeah, in the meantime, you all take care, and I'll see you online. Cheers.